and welcome back to my apartment. <laughs> so today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Rustic House and how they make their candles. Uh, thank you to Tristan for allowing me to share this with y'all because it's really cool to get like the behind the scenes on how they make stuff. Now I met with Tristan uh, a few years ago and we talked about like the story behind the business of the Rustic House. So there is another older YouTube video about that and all that information is also in my blog post which is linked below. But without further ado, let's get into what goes into making a candle at the Rustic House. The first step in the candle making process is to prep the jar trays. Once the jars are all set out, each one gets a little dollop of adhesive for the candle wick, which is placed next using this handy dandy tool that someone designed to be 3D printed. Next, the fragrance is chosen. Unless there are special orders, candle scents to be made daily are based on the current need of the stock in the warehouse. Today, Tresson is making a signature scent, which is the original scent that started the Rustic House and is still the best seller even today. The wax is kept warm at 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Once measured out, the wax is poured and stirred in with fragrance. The signature scent is a hearty balance of amber, tobacco, and vanilla, which is just something that you'll have to smell for yourself in order to understand how truly good this is. After it's well mixed, the liquid is poured into the prep jars. The key here is to make sure that there's enough clearance for the recessed wooden lids to fit the candles once the wax hardens. Sometimes the pores are a little uneven, so a spoon is used to share the melted wax amongst the jars. The next step is to make sure the wicks stay upright and centered while the wax cools. These little metal plates are perfect for this, as they also have little side holders to keep the wicks in place. The last step, while they're still warm, is to finish with flame. This added heat makes sure that the surface is even and eliminates bubbles and excess wax that might have collected on the edges. While the signature scent cools, Tristan pulls a tray of lemongrass and sage to package. This tray was poured earlier in the day and is now cool enough to finish. Step one is to remove the metal wick holders and trim the wicks down to size. Then the lids are applied and a final wipe is given in case any excess wax dripped onto the outside of the jars during the pour. Next, the labels are added to the bottom of the jars and the boxes. Then the candles are placed in their boxes, closed, and carried over to their position on the warehouse shelf. Tristan told me they make an average of about 300 candles a day. Obviously there's more prep work, like making boxes, that go into these processes before the candles are made to make sure that the candle making process goes smoothly. You can find the Rustic House products in local shops around the Chattanooga area, but they also allow for local pickup right here too. They're also open to custom or special orders, so just inquire by phone or email. All this information will be in my blog post, which is linked below. Although the 8 ounce candle is the Rustic House's main product, they also make wax melts, travel tin candles, and reed diffusers. So something that they didn't have when I first talked to them <laughs> was this. They now have reed diffusers, which they've had them for a while now. But he gave me one to try, so I'm excited to try this. This is, if you're, I mean, the candles are already good if you have, like, sensitive nose. <laughs> so if you're sensitive to fragrances and they usually give you headaches, most of their stuff won't. Um, it is possible that it still might. And if you are very sensitive, this is your next best bet because these are not quite as potent as the candles. So it says it's low maintenance, two to three months of fragrance, no match needed. <laughs> So basically you just stick the diffusers, the reeds, into this bottle of fragrance and the fragrance kind of like creeps up and then disperses around the room. And then just flip the reeds every week or so to kind of like freshen it up. He gave me the red currant scent and I'm just going to go ahead and do an unboxing for you so you can see what's inside. So when you open up the box, you get the little bundle of reeds. And a little bubble wrap for the oil. I can already tell just by smelling the bottle that this is not nearly as strong as the candles. The red currant is also a nice, subtle, fruity, yet refreshing scent. 
Another nice thing about the rediffusers is that you can leave them like this all the time. No need to stay present with an open flame or remember to blow it out. Now, I've left the diffuser in the other room for a little while, and when I enter that room, I can definitely smell it, so it works quite well. So that sums up the behind the scenes of how they make candles at the Rustic House. And if you're wondering more about like the history behind them business and where to find them, all that stuff's in my blog post, link below. You can also shop them online. Or if you're local to Chattanooga, they do have them in various stores around town. So all that information is in the blog post, link below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.